I'm not feeling it today. I'm I'm really not feeling it. I made two big mistakes when it came to this release date. The first being that I did my first leg day in a long time and pushed myself really hard. So then this morning when I woke up bright and early, ready to head to the Lego store, I felt like death. Which then led me to mistake number two, which was not have time to eat breakfast because I slept in too much. So that's great. All things considered though, I did get here at 9.24. I also picked up this like muscle protein milk thing that I had in the fridge. I don't actually think it's gonna be super busy because really the only things that are releasing are Zelda and The Burrow. I was reminded yesterday that The Nightmare Before Christmas actually comes out on the third. So I'm just gonna order that one online. And I can't imagine people who are in line for advent calendars. I'm regretting not throwing my milk away because now I've got to try and grab the burrow. Oh dear, let's just grab that. Oh God, that's very heavy for one hand. I completely forgot that these space torsos and like the gray cats were in build a minifigure today. I've just gone for throwing 15 random pieces in the box and this is what I've basically come up with. I wanted to really stockpile on a couple of cats. They're just like pieces I know that I don't have a ton of plus some of the brand new Halloween spooky pieces. All right, Derek's got his CMFs, scanned it. He got it pretty much first try. You got lucked out yeah. very much so today. Made it back home now after strolling around Disney Springs for a little bit with Derek, which was a lot of fun. Um, I am wrecked. My legs are so sore. So much so that it got to the point where I got home and I just had to sit down for like, 15 minutes and firstly scroll and catch up on formula one because i was wondering to myself like what happened as soon as i opened instagram and i saw that oscar didn't win so i watched a little bit of the replay scrolled on twitter for a little bit laughed at some kevin magnuson memes and then i got up and my legs were like jelly so i'm destroyed today but let's do a quick haul so the good news is i got my little weasley clock which comes in this fancy box it feels quite hefty which is quite nice i also got a free draco poly bag this one i'll probably open i already have one but i don't even think i've opened it yet and then of course borgen and burks which looks really fun i'm glad i got that i probably could have got another one by buying like some of the other harry potter sets that are on double points or whatever but i don't need to i'll just stick with my one then of course i have the main attraction the burrow and i actually saw one of the staff members building it and it's look it's smaller than i thought but also bigger than i thought at the same time i'm hoping to start this tonight if not tomorrow because I do need to finish another video first but I want to get cracking on this thing and I also need to figure out where I'm gonna put it after so that's probably higher on my priority list my pieces from build a minifigure then I also picked up this little Donkey Kong set which was on sale I actually think my annual pass holder discount for like Disney worked on this thing so it came down even cheaper I will double check oh interesting I got 10% off the burrow with my annual pass that doesn't seem right I didn't think I got stuff that was like brand new let alone like discounts on stuff that's like exclusive to the Lego stores but 10% off the burrow so I got $26 off that I got a dollar off my BAM and I got an extra two dollars and 16 cents off the Donkey Kong set. Feeling pretty good about that, although I still need to get the Nightmare Before Christmas on Monday, but whatever. Today has been just so autumn feeling and I've absolutely loved it and I'm fully embracing it. I've put my orange pillowcases on, which I'm very excited about. I've also been using these like little mushroom glasses that I got from HomeSense for like $6. Um, if you joined into my whatnot stream, you would recognize this. I haven't really vlogged much since I got home, but it is currently almost 7.30 and I've just started building the burrow. I'm trying to get bag one done before I stream. So currently my plan is build bag one, go and cook up just like a frozen pizza that I bought earlier today because I'm not in the mood to cook right now and then sit down and hopefully do a twitch stream but while I'm building bag one I'm watching the final day of Zoe Suggs of vloggers now if you didn't know I was a massive fan of the British vloggers back in like the heyday in the early 2000s like Dan Phil, Zoella, Thatcher Joe, Pointless Blog, everyone. I could sit here and list everyone, but I'm not gonna do that. And I got so nostalgic the other day because the main one I watched, Zoella, Zoe Sugg, she had a daughter a couple years ago. She's now three, and all she wanted to do was go to the Isle of Wight for her birthday. This is so niche. But um, I'm watching this vlog, and I'm watching this little three-year-old go to the Isle of Wight for her birthday, and I just had this wave of nostalgia hit me because I have watched these guys for majority of my life, literally over half of my life. I have been following them and like 
I have followed this couple's relationship ever since it got linked when they did early collabs and like it's so fun to kind of think about and look back on because like this is what raised me which then leads me to the question because like I do talk about how the fact that I did watch a lot of Lego content before I kind of got onto these like Lego content was one of the earliest forms of like YouTube content that I watched before I got onto like the British vloggers and like more generic kind of YouTube as you think of YouTube these days so I want to know like what did you watch growing up like if you're like roughly the same age as me or even if you're in your 30s like what did you watch in like the 2010s or like when did you start watching YouTube because like for me with Lego content like it was the brick show it was Nitro 99 it was Brick Queen Forest Fire Gertos 13 or Gertos 13 I can never pronounce it so I would like to know what you watched or if you are a teenager like what are you currently watching I would really love to know um but yes right now I am building the borough and I've got to apply my first sticker which I forgot to get the sticker sheet out of this little container I tried to sort out the bags but I didn't get very far. Look at that. I think they're really cute. Little update though on the state of my legs. I went to the gym and I just like walked on the treadmill. I wasn't going fast. I wasn't doing anything too intense. But I just like, I knew I needed to go and just move. And I did feel better doing that. Like every step I took, I could feel my legs aching. Like I could just, I can feel every muscle and like, it's a bit intense um and then i went and found a foam roller and just kind of lay on the floor and rolled out my legs for a bit and that also helped so i'm really hoping that tomorrow i do feel better because i would like to go back i've come to drop off all of my whatnot orders from the stream that i did on the weekend um but beforehand right as i was leaving i saw that my halloween costume for mickey's not so scary halloween party had arrived technically i have two packages because one is my best friend's one and the other is my Mine. Um, and I thought I would do like a little unboxing. I'm really excited for these. I was also debating going to like Joanne's Fabrics or some sort of like craft store to get some fabric to modify it a little bit. But there's also another costume in here. This is one that I had for another video. And I wanted to show you guys this one first because like part of me is like, oh, I should keep my Halloween party one secret for no reason but basically the one I got for a video is quite fun I don't know if you'll be able to tell what this character is without it this might be a bit big I might have to exchange it but anyway at least I gave myself time and then um, we have these overalls can, can we tell who it is and then this one is the one I'm way more excited for I've gone all out with this with like accessories and everything I cannot wait here's a little sneak peek that's all you're getting because I suck okay my Amazon package arrived and firstly we've got my acrylic turntable mat but more importantly Pascal is here I mean I feel like I've just revealed exactly what my costume is but look um he's here and he attaches the like magnet point is in his head though so I don't necessarily think he sits totally right. Anyway, I think he looks adorable. And I'm so excited to like have this full costume put together now. I still need to add the sleeves and do some sewing to it, but it's pretty much come together. It is now Saturday and I've come to Joanne so I can make some progress finally on getting the sleeves done for my costume for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, which I'm going to now on friday because great news my best friend is coming on monday night so i also need to like do all of the prep for that i'm really excited so basically the second half of this vlog is just going to be dedicated towards making sure that i'm ready for that i just walked in the door and already i'm distracted by wreaths and other things i actually need a couple of things like i have a sewing machine at home and i don't have one here so i'm gonna have to hand stitch everything so i found lace scissors needles and a little tape measure and then as for the fabric i feel like this is the closest one i found in terms of just like material like this is kind of stretchy and it's also like the perfect pink so now i want to try and match thread to this turns out everyone's measuring in yards here so I found my little cotton thread, got my lace, got my fabric cut. I am all ready. I was like looking at the sewing machines as well. I really want to get another one, but I can't. I'm not doing it now. But eventually, eventually I'll get another sewing machine and sell my other one. Because I can't bring that with me. That's ridiculous. I knew that this had shipped, but I am shocked that the Nightmare Before Christmas arrived today. So I have opened it all up, laid out all of my bags, and also dragged my entire desk over so that I could sit watch Nightmare Before Christmas 
and then build on the day bed because unfortunately for me my chair doesn't actually recline so it can be a little bit uncomfortable sometimes i'm gonna upgrade it eventually also i had a shower washed my hair did a little bit of an everything shower i even shaved my legs today and funnily enough whilst i was actually in the queue for joanne's i was looking up like miniature sewing machines on amazon because i was like looking at this wall and i'm seeing a couple of machines that were like a 100 bucks but i just thought about it and i was like if i just bought a tiny sewing machine like i would save so much time on this project so i got a tiny sewing machine it was as simple as that so it's going to arrive tomorrow morning um and i'm very excited because then i can do all of my sewing tomorrow and i did a lot of the bathroom cleaning today so now for the rest of the day i can just sit and work on this set which means i can then work on this video tomorrow and monday before my friend arrives i had to wake up at seven o'clock this morning so that i could get all of like the disney lightning lane reservations or whatever that was a nightmare i can only book mine three days out but my friend cakes i could book hers for like her whole trip because i guess she bought tickets so all of hers are all said and done and then i fell back to sleep i'm a little tired but great news is my sewing machine arrived this morning really i should have just stayed up and got cracking on this but look it really is a mini sewing machine so i door dashed some pins because that is one thing i actually forgot to get yesterday from joanne's and i'm finally ready to start sewing the sleeve so firstly i'm just hemming the bottom then i'm gonna add the lace to it and then sew it together before attaching it to the like puffy sleeves kind of went a little off course here but the rest of it is pretty solid i'm really happy with this especially for 30 bucks and this isn't like a proper sewing machine this is just a temporary solution so i've been trying to pin the sleeve to the existing sleeve and because like this is already a completed dress i'm really struggling and i think i'm just gonna have to hand sew this which is gonna be quite slow and painful, but at least I won't stuff up. So I hand stitched the sleeves to the dress. It took a while, but I'm really happy with how it turned out and it makes it look a thousand times better. So that is all done. And now I've had a package arrive, which is this little like side table nightstand, which I got cause it was big enough to fit my record player on, which is currently just sat on top of um, boxes. It's a, look, it's a make-do solution, but it works. Oh, also I set all of the guest bed up. I washed the sheets again and I put the pillows on. I just need to put the blanket on top. Um, I'm leaving it as a single for now, but the sheets are double, which is why it's so long on the bed. <laughs> so that explains that. But I've been patiently awaiting this little side table to arrive and I'm so glad it came when it did. There's like a little drawer on it. So that way people can put stuff in the drawer when they stay it's genius right but also that means i do need to build it the side table is all done i just got it from target and like it was just a flat pack thing but like i'm really happy with it the drawer feels a little tight like it doesn't shut all the way like you kind of have to push it um but otherwise like the fact that it's got a drawer is great my turntable fits perfectly on here and then i can put my seven inch vinyls down the bottom and then i'm gonna have my speaker down here eventually but i want to drill a hole in the back to thread the cable through to that little like power plug you got there because like the turntable it doesn't matter the cable just goes down the back um and then for now i've just put my ipad there but now that i've got this i feel like everything just looks a little bit neater there's a little bit more storage i'm a really big fan of this i was spending ages trying to find something and i'm glad that i didn't have just another piece of ikea furniture because like the rest of this room is ikea furniture and don't get me wrong i love ikea but there's just a little too much like i wanted something that felt a little bit different and then also i was trying to clean up this little cubby a bit so i just put my brick badge up there and my ariel's castle and i'm thinking i might put all of my tiny little like die cast lego cars on here with one of my acrylic risers this cubby then eventually will just be like full of vinyls i want to get that like divider that you can kind of get from ikea to put them in a little bit better actually i might make this one the vinyl one just because the power points are there and then obviously my speak is being moved but even this unit is feeling a little bit better like i still have this random shelf of just like stuff to dump in there at the moment um but otherwise i'm feeling really really good it is amazing how much motivation to clean i've had now that i know i have someone coming 
So that's that's all it took. And I also went to Box Lunch earlier to pick up like my Lightning McQueen jacket, which I'm really, really happy with. And I've been ticking everything off my to-do list. I just have four things left, which all require recording. So I'm gonna unplug and drag my desk over in front of the shelves and get that all done. A lot of it is like Nightmare Before Christmas. There's something for a thumbnail. I wanted to take some photos of the borough as well for Instagram. And then pretty much my to-do list is done. One of them was like paint my nails, which that was the first priority because I wanted to have them done and ready to film all of these things, which is fantastic. I'm making great time because it's only 5 p.m. and Cakes arrives at 10. Assuming that everything's on time. She should actually be landing in Dallas about now. Um, so I'm gonna go and check flight radar to see if she's made it. And then I've like turned the bed into like actual bed mode. I think I mentioned this earlier, but I also pulled out the little gifts I got for her, including the do not disturb sign. And I got her this little Eeyore plushie because she knows she loves Eeyore. It's one of like the shoulder clip things. So I had it just like attached to the do not disturb sign. And then I also put a little like drink bottle in the fridge so that when she arrives, she has a full thing of water because I know every time I get off the plane from like Sydney to the US, the first thing I want is water because you just don't get enough of it. So I made sure to put a drink bottle in the fridge so I can grab that when I go pick her up. So I'm just taking the photos for the bar and I completely realized that I forgot to show you something that I put on my shelf which I got recently. And that is these little like custom sick figs in a case. And I'm so sorry because I completely spaced and forgot to ask your name when I ran into you in the Lego store on release day. But I ran into someone and they very, very kindly gifted me this little display case full of like a bunch of custom Holly sick figs, which are all of the ones that are on like the canvases that some of my mods gave to me for my birthday. And I love it so much. There are like four different sick figs in me. So firstly, is like butthole tiger review holly then we have leia cosplay holly complete with like my little um lightsaber then we have yelena cosplay holly and then finally spider-man holly and i love them i like immediately put them on my shelf and put them on top of like my books because i think that was one of the best places to put them because like this is something that can go on an open air shelf and there was a nice spot eventually i'll fill it with books and i'll need to move this to a different shelf but I love this. I thank you so much. I just wanted to like show you guys because I just saw it down there and I was like, wait, I don't think I've actually like filmed this yet. But borrow photos are done. I'll probably take a couple of screenshots as well from my review just to like complete out the Instagram post a little bit. And then the last thing I need to do is film that I made before Christmas, but I also started to make banana bread. Um, so I kind of want to go and check to see if the banana defrosted that needed to defrost. Made it to the pickup point, but I don't think she's off the plane. I'm so excited, oh my god. I'm like, do I do another loop? Or do I just like sit and wait? I don't think I should sit and wait, even though there's not that many people. Just cause I don't know how long it will take. Okay, I'm gonna do another loop. And I will call her to let her know. Okay, I'm on the hunt. I'm on the hunt. I can see her. Ah! 